Notice how, you know, you do have Piers Morgan, which we'll talk about later in the show, but notice how you don't hear as many calls to ban, ban guns. I mean, you don't hear as many, oh, well, thoughts and prayers are no longer enough. And that is because right now for the left, destroying Trump is much more important than gun control. So they've shifted, they've shifted it over to now to criticizing Trump over this. But, I, you know, I, I, this, this notion that, you know, Trump's rhetoric is worse than, you know, it's ever been in our history and Trump is taking it to a new level. We talked about this on my show, but uh, I mean, if you look at the election of 1800 and John Adams and Thomas Jefferson going at each other, I mean, their political rhetoric was much worse than anything Trump's ever said or any funny nicknames Trump's ever made. And so, you know, I, I think that the left is really just trying to use this as an opportunity to silence Trump. Right. And it's and never going to cease to shock me when the Democrats use tragedy for politics immediately like this. President Trump has been the most pro-Israel president, the most pro-Jewish president in modern history. And the same cannot be said for the administration of former President Barack Obama. This killer himself, first of all, like I said in the introduction, it doesn't matter his political affiliation. He is not representative of either side. I wouldn't pretend he's representative of liberals if he were liberal. I wouldn't pretend he's representative of Trump supporters if he were a Trump supporter. It doesn't matter. But the fact of the matter is he had a footprint online that showed his anti-Semitism for years. These people didn't just create this ideology because of President Trump. This is a an evil ideology that has been in existence in our world for thousands of years, let alone our country for hundreds of years. No, and I, and I think you're absolutely right. I think that, you know, if they want to make this political, we can point to the instances in history because the preponderance of, of political violence has been on the left all the way back to the, to the Haymarket riots, to the Unabomber. I mean, what about Bill Ayers and Bernadine Dorn and Antifa in present day? I mean, they want to talk about political examples of political violence. Those are them. And then they point back to the uh, Virginia rally just because they point to one white supremacist who did something crazy. Most of the political violence has been on the left. But I don't think we need to make this political because, like you said, and as Sarah Sanders said, and as, the, as Trump said, the only person responsible right now should be the person who actually went into that synagogue and shot people. Uh, that's the only person who we should put blame on. And I, I think that it's disgusting to put blame on anyone else in this instance. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.